facet uh, syndrome is uh, generally treated with lumbar facet injections. Uh, unfortunately, in a subset of patients, facet injections do not last that long. And the group of patients that do really well with it, but unfortunately it doesn't last, uh, we can offer them another procedure called radiofrequency nerve ablation or radiofrequency neurotomy. Basically, looking at a spine model, uh, the back of the spine, the joints that are loaded and are generally worsened with standing and extension, meaning bending backward, are the, are the facet joints. Each facet joint is innervated by two nerves. For example, at the level that I'm pointing at here, that's the L4-5 facet joint. And basically, there is a nerve at the level and there's another nerve at the level below it that supply that joint. Radiofrequency nerve ablation would entail denervating or ablating the nerve that supplies the joint so you don't feel the symptoms or the patient doesn't feel the symptoms. Uh, the way we do it is by basically placing a needle parallel to the nerve to be able to best ablate that nerve using some thermal heat. Uh, the nerve that's denervated does regenerate though. So generally once the nerve regenerates, the pain does come back, but it takes many, many months for that to happen. Uh, on average, patients that receive uh, the procedure have pain relief from anywhere from six months to a year. Now, once the nerve regenerates uh, in the subset where the pain returns, we would repeat the procedure. And the patients where the pain is gone and it doesn't come back, then we don't repeat the procedure. So basically, once the procedure is done, we would have to reassess and see how the patient does.